China and Russia's new project in the Arctic will change everything. Both China and Russia view the Arctic as a source of valuable minerals and fossil fuels and are ready to invest a big chunk of money. In today's video, we are going to show you China and Russia's new project in the Arctic will change everything. Russia and China have both increased their efforts to exploit the natural resources in the Arctic, as previously inaccessible regions are becoming more accessible due to global warming melting the ice caps. Russia has made significant investments in Arctic mining projects, including the Vostok Coal Project, that aims to extract up to 30 million tons of coal per year, making it one of the world's largest coal mines. Russia is also exploring oil and gas in the Arctic, with the Yamal LNG project being one of its most ambitious efforts. Meanwhile, China is heavily investing in mining operations in Greenland, which is home to some of the world's largest reserves of rare earth metals. Chinese companies have shown interest in investing in Russia's Arctic resources, and now one of China's major construction and engineering firms has teamed up with Russian titanium resources to develop the Pisemskoya mining project in the Komi Republic, signaling a new partnership in Arctic mineral exploration. The partnership between the Chinese construction and engineering firm and Russian titanium resources is aimed at developing a major mineral deposit in the Arctic, specifically the Pisemskoya mining project in the Komi Republic. The Arctic has become increasingly accessible due to global warming, making it an attractive target for resource extraction. Both Russia and China view the Arctic as a rich source of valuable minerals and fossil fuels, with Russia investing heavily in Arctic mining projects, including the Vostok Coal Project and the Yamal LNG Project. Meanwhile, China has been investing in mining operations in Greenland, home to some of the world's largest deposits of rare earth metals which are used in high-tech applications such as smartphones, electric vehicles, and wind turbines. China's interest in Greenland's reserves has raised concerns about its dominance of the rare earth metals market. With this new partnership in the Arctic, China's interest in Russia's Arctic resources is likely to grow. The collaboration between Russian and China communications and construction company is not limited to just mining titanium, as it involves building a bigger port and railway connection for the transportation of minerals, like zircon, iron ore, and gold. The project aims to ensure easy export of materials, and the Northern Sea Route will also be utilized. Russia recently obtained a patent for the processing of titanium ores from the Pishemskoya deposit, which contains the largest titanium ore reserves in Russia and the world. China is the largest exporter of titanium globally, and this project can impact the aerospace and defense industries that rely on lightweight titanium alloys. Russia has also established a lithium mine in the Arctic, which aims to make up for sanctions on other ores. However, the development could cause significant damage to the environment and disrupt the traditional way of life of local reindeer herders, according to an advocate for the Sami people in the region. As the Arctic's resources become a geopolitical hotspot, with Russia, the US, and China pursuing their interests, tensions may rise, leading to a new Cold War fought over Arctic mining. The Arctic has become a hotspot for geopolitical tension due to the competition over mining resources. As the melting ice makes more of the area accessible, countries such as Russia, the US, and China are eyeing the Arctic for strategic and economic reasons. In 2007, Russia planted a flag under the North Pole to assert its claim to untapped oil and gas reserves in the Arctic Ocean. This bold move was met with skepticism and ridicule from other countries. However, it brought attention to the issue of exploiting the Arctic's resources. Russia's plan to invest in the Arctic until 2035 includes expanding the Indiga seaport and building the Sosnogorsk India Railway to transport minerals to the Northern Sea Route. The Northern Sea Route Administration predicts that Indiga will handle 30 million tons of cargo by the end of the decade and up to 80 million tons in the 2030s. In addition to titanium, other minerals like zircon, iron ore, and gold are being mined in the Arctic. Russia has also established a lithium mine, the Kolmozero, which aims to make up for sanctions on other ores. Nor Nikel and Rosatom have joined forces to develop this remote Arctic resource, hoping to eventually create a battery production industry. However, the development comes with a hefty cost, as it will be far from existing infrastructure and impact pristine Arctic lands. Sami activists caution that it could cause significant damage to the region's environment and disrupt the traditional way of life for local reindeer herders. China Communications and Construction Company has participated in various Belt and Road Initiative projects, but it has faced criticism for its financial practices and has been under U.S. sanctions for over 10 years. 
Russia recently met with China Railway Construction Corporation and agreed to form a joint company. By combining their skills in constructing and financing infrastructure projects, they aim to positively impact the domestic market. Overall, the competition over mining resources in the Arctic has led to a new era of tension, comparable to the Cold War. While there is potential for economic benefits, it is normal to consider the potential environmental and social impacts of these projects on the indigenous populations and the Arctic ecosystem. The United States is worried about Russia's aggressive military expansion in the Arctic, which involves placing missiles on icebreakers and constructing new bases. Russia's primary interests in the region revolve around its land and resources, including plans for mineral extraction and aspirations to become the world's leading gold producer. The threat that Russia poses to American and Chinese interests in the Arctic is not so much about competition for resources as it is about the growing militarization of the area. With the melting of Arctic ice and the emergence of new shipping lanes, Russia's military presence could lead to tensions. The United States is urging Russia to change course and refrain from developing offensive capabilities in the Arctic. The Arctic region has become a topic of global interest due to its vast resources and its potential as a new shipping route. While the Arctic was once a frozen wasteland, melting ice caused by climate change has made the region more accessible than ever before. The risk that Russia poses to American and Chinese interests in the Arctic is less about competition for resources and more about its military presence. The U.S. is urging Russia to change the course and avoid developing offensive capabilities in the Arctic to prevent further escalation of tension in the region. The Arctic region is becoming an area of growing strategic importance due to the melting of the polar ice cap, which is opening up new shipping routes and access to untapped resources. The United States and Russia, in particular, have been increasing their presence and military capabilities in the region, raising concerns about potential conflicts and tensions. In addition to the military buildup, countries like Russia are also investing in developing their economic interests in the Arctic, particularly in the production of minerals and becoming a major producer of gold. However, the increasing militarization of the region is the main reason for the United States and other countries, rather than competition for resources. This is seen as a potentially destabilizing development, particularly as new shipping routes are opened by the melting of Arctic ice, which may increase tensions in the region. To address these concerns, the U.S. is calling on Russia to change course and avoid developing offensive capabilities in the Arctic. It is believed that this would help to ensure stability in the region, prevent conflicts from arising, and allow for the peaceful pursuit of opportunities that emerge as the Arctic continues to change. This call for cooperation and stability is particularly important given the strategic importance of the Arctic as it is home to vast reserves of natural resources, including oil and gas, and has the potential to become a major shipping route as the ice melts. To ensure that these opportunities are pursued in a responsible and sustainable manner, it will be important for countries to work together and avoid taking actions that could lead to conflict or destabilization in the region. That's all. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel and ring the bell icon to get more videos.